Building with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. All right. I have this inverter here that uh, someone came by and wanted me to install. He also wants to put some lights in with a switch. And he doesn't have a 7-pin, so we're actually going to hook up a 7-pin for his trailer to hook up to his truck. But he also wants the inverter to power a small air compressor. That's why I'm going with such a large inverter. Only because of the air compressor to pump up some of his tires. All right, this is the seven pin, let's get started. Okay, uh, these four wires that you're seeing here control his lights on the trailer, but he didn't want me to hook them up to the seven pin. So I'm just gonna do what he wants. Drill the hole up underneath the trailer and took the wires out of the seven pin box because this is a nice seven pin setup. I really do like it. So I passed it through to the inside and then zip tied the wire to the chassis and make sure you leave enough length so you can plug it in and your trailer can turn and you won't have any issues. All right, I reconnected the box on the inside and we're gonna go ahead and start mounting the boxes where everything needs to go. This is the seven pin box. Everything's color coded to the pins. Really nice. I really like the setup. I wish he would have let me tie all his lights up to this box. It would have worked. Okay, here's where the box is gonna go for the electrical outlet for the small compressor. That's the seven pin box. And now, as you can see, he has lawn equipment in this trailer. And up here, we're going to install this box that has a switch, or we're going to install a switch for the lights. This is the inverter. These heavy wires that you see come with the inverter. He brought a marine battery, which I asked him to do so. I think that's a smart way to go. Make sure you put those caps on, get everything tightened up on your inverter, start locating every place that you want to put everything. So we mounted the battery. I screwed it down to the plywood and it has the tie downs to keep the battery from moving around. I had to uh, custom make the lengths of these wires so that everything would work properly. Um, this is a long process, but it worked out really nice. Here's that seven pin box. I run these eight gauge wires from the positive coming off the seven pin and the negative, and I bring them up. I put the red on positive and the black on negative because that's the way the battery is hooked up and you won't get confused. All right, this wire here is, I'm running it through. That outlet is for the small air compressor. So if he has to blow up a tire or something on his trailer or his lawnmower, he's able to do so. Make sure your battery is tied down. Start bringing all your wiring to the location of where you're going to set everything. So we know uh, this is where we have the inverter. We have it tied right to the trailer frame. The box on top is a junction box that everything runs to. So I start running my wires to each of the boxes. And then this way I'll get the correct lengths. I'll be able to tie everything together. Do not tie in the battery at this point. You keep everything off the battery. You Last thing you do is hook up the battery. All right. I've also installed this uh, 40 amp breaker that comes off the seven pin to the battery. While the battery's charging, if something happens, you can reset it. This is the switch for the lights. It works rather nicely. It's all coming together. These lights jump off of each other. I had to put four in, we were only gonna put three but the wires that came with the lights 
were not long enough. So we were able to put in four, which gives him a tremendous amount of light. I like this setup. Okay. All right, as you can see, the inverter's mounted. I have um, the wires from the inverter going to the junction box, and the wires for the lights and for the compressor are all in this junction box and all tied together. Now, the red wire coming off the inverter is going down to a nice breaker that is supplied by the inverter company. And then that breaker that's there, uh, actually a fuse that they supply, uh, I have it set up to where it'll connect to that battery nicely. You see the, the 40 amp breaker that I have with the eight gauge wire, that's also the red side, the positive side, that's all gonna go to the battery. Both the red wires there the very large one and the 8 gauge are going to be tied to the red side of the battery, but not till everything else is hooked up. And we're going to install the negative side first. Whenever you're hooking up a battery, set up the negative side first. Okay, we've nearly have this completed. We're connecting everything with the outlet, the switches, the junction box the inverter, everything is connected now. So then once it's all connected to uh, the lights, everything, we're all back to the battery. Then we're going to tie the battery together. Start with the negative side, put it on, and then your positive side. We tested it, everything worked fantastic. I know this is overage on the inverter, but it had to be in order for the compressor. This inverter came with a control switch that plugs into the back and you can move that control switch, gives you plenty of wire to anywhere in this trailer. Once that was hooked up, everything did work perfectly and I enjoyed doing this. Building with Papa, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.